Hey guys, it's Brian here with Uncut Real Estate Market Leaders, and today we're going to talk about manufactured homes and whether or not they will increase the value of my property or decrease the value of my property. Coming up right after this. So there's a lot of variables when we're talking about manufactured homes and where they are, what year they were made, and kind of some of the ways that they are attached to real property. Brandon Patton wrote an article on his website, and I'm going to make sure that we get that article in the description. So we're going to jump into it. I'm going to just kind of highlight some key points. Are manufactured homes as good as a stick built home? A stick home build is going to be way more sturdier. There's going to be talking to a builder where you can customize things. When you think of manufactured homes, you're thinking, you know, Benton City or uh, Finley. I'm actually in Tri-Cities, Washington area. If you guys are listening to this outside of Washington or outside of Tri-Cities, you probably won't be as familiar, but for, you know, for those of you that do live in Tri-Cities, those are the places you can typically find a lot of manufactured homes. The quality of the home is more or less the location and kind of the lifestyle that you want. Um, if you're wanting horses in a barn and a build a big old shop on you know some two acres plus, a manufactured home is going to give you that option. You know if you're looking for a stick build home, you're going to be looking more at like a smaller yard, less upkeep. The main point of buying a manufactured home is basically being able to move out in the country and being on that well and septic. And if that's kind of not your, you know, deal and you don't really want to deal with all that, then, you know, you want to be hooked up to city water and city sewer, then yeah, you're going to want to go with that stick built home, you know, in town. You're obviously going to have better quality when it comes to a stick built home. It's going to far exceed quality. Manufactured homes are designed for economic you know they're economically easy to purchase and it's able to develop a piece of land like i said out in the country that you're looking for now the big question do manufactured homes hold their value so as long as the manufactured home is tied to the real property so it's on its own land the title has been eliminated then the manufactured home will gain value the same way as a traditional home would appreciate in the in the market you have to think when a when a real estate agent is pulling comps doing your cma if you're in Benton City, your comps are most likely going to be other manufactured homes that are around you. Now to say somehow, some way you're in a, this area where you're the only manufactured home sitting around a bunch of stick built homes, that's going to affect your, your market, your, your CMA. So those are also things that you need to, to think about. Just the biggest, the biggest point on that is making sure that that title has been eliminated and it's attached to the real property. So say it's attached and you're sitting on, you know, an acre, two acres plus. Is it hard to get a home mortgage for a manufactured home? It's a lot of variables. Again, every lender is a little bit different. They're gonna have their own rules and being able to provide a, a mortgage or a loan on a manufactured home. You go to ABC lenders, they say, no, we can't do it. You go down the road, XYZ lenders, they say, yes, we only require a 3.5 down. So it really just depends on the lender. And if you just ask your local real estate agent, one of us here at Real Estate Market Leaders will be gladly to help. 
we can get you lined up with the right lenders that can get you into a manufactured home and get you rolling. Now there is one thing that lenders, that all lenders look at, and that is if that manufactured home was built before 1978 and it's tied down to real property again. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of restrictions back in 1978 when it came to manufactured homes. So that's kind of the biggest point when it comes to the age of the home. And, you know, when you go to purchase these, these manufactured homes on the property. Now, in order to get your title eliminated and get that property tied down, you do need to contact a company that is certified in attaching manufactured homes to a foundation. So you can, you can call us up, real estate market leaders. One of us can definitely help you finding a company or I'm sure any local real estate agent will be gladly to help if you're looking to have your, your manufactured home tied down if it hasn't been done already. This next process is after it's been done, the title company um, will basically uh, do a title eliminate, elimination on it. And now that manufactured home is considered real property. So if you have a skilled realtor like us here at Real Estate Market Leaders locally in Tri-Cities, we will have the right contacts and the familiarity with you know, to walk you through that should you buy a manufactured home in a trailer park. I think this is why most people th believe that manufactured home will lose value. If they put it in a, in a trailer park, you don't actually own that land. And this is why it will decrease in value, absolutely. Me personally, I would never buy a manufactured home in a trailer park. Um, these homes are difficult, if not impossible, to get a home loan on. I'm sure it can be done. I'm sure it's been done in the past. I mean, you can always go and get a hard money loan um, from friends and family, I guess. But it's just not a good deal. So I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. If you have any questions, you can always contact me. Again, my name is Brian Berg with Real Estate Market Leaders. This is the Uncut Real Estate Market Leader podcast. And we got some YouTube videos like we're doing right now. We've got the podcast going. Uh, check out our websites. We'll make sure we put the links uh, in the description. If there's any manufactured questions, manufactured home questions that you just, we didn't touch base on, give us a call and uh, we'll get you in the right directions. All right, guys, you take care and I'll see you out there.